I'm Luke White. I'm a fourth year anthropology major um, and I'm a photographer. Well, my name is Chris D'Angelo. I'm a fourth year and on campus I do a lot of photography and filmmaking. I'm studying economics as my major and then just taking other classes that I want to learn about. What I'm specifically interested in right now is photos that are not working individually but that are working um, as a whole to create a narrative, the, the poetic nature of, of sequencing a certain set of images in a certain way and understanding that they speak to you in that way but not really being able to understand why or parse mm -hmm. out why that is. I am usually asked by clients to take photos of them, right, mm -hmm. or of their, their organization, etc. Uh, for filmmaking, I like to make promotional videos just because they're usually more creative, like short and fun. At least at the beginning of the year I was working on kind of like a, a meta-narrative about Hyde Park um, and kind of the triad that I think exists there, which is kind of the, the Hyde Park community outside of the university, the university administration, and then the students, and how they interact together. I did it, and then winter quarter came, and it got cold, and I didn't really want to go outside, and I kind of I lost uh, a sense of, of wanting to do it. But um, at least initially, yeah, I would get up, you know, sometimes I'd get up before sunrise and walk around Hyde Park and find people and, and talk to them for a brief moment, ask them, you know, what they thought about the university, what they think about living in Hyde Park, and then photograph them. I think for me it's a little bit hard to define myself as like an artist, to be honest. Art comes in when you have to use the technical tools um, in a creative fashion. And so I want to do more editorial, kind of pare it down and take away all of the layers of like um, aesthetic complication. I've been told that I had a blue phase. I think it was because the way that my screen was working on my laptop, okay. which was slightly warmer, which I didn't realize because when I looked at I edit my photos late at night usually, yeah. and I like look at my phone, which has a night shift filter, you know? And I never really think about it. And I was like, oh, this photo looks great. And then I look at it the next day on my phone, and I'm like, it looks like it's blue. When I was second year, I rushed to KSI. And then when I became a brother, uh, we had this crazy idea of creating a rush video, and one of my friends basically uh, came up with the idea to make a Fifty Shades of Grey video. The video on Facebook got, I think, 16,000 views, and I think it has 16,000 views now on YouTube, too, for you know a one-minute rush video for a business fraternity. Just yesterday, um, one of my friends in AKSI was sent a Snapchat of their chapter watching our video from three years ago. Which is crazy, you know? And since then we made other fun videos as well. I think the best thing about making films is the people that you make them with because you get to have a great time like telling a story. Mm -hmm. One of the things that photography as a profession allows you to do is to tell stories for people who don't have the means to do so or don't have the time to do so. I've been working on a, a little like family portrait series though, which I, I'm trying to get back up and going because I think it, it is worth pursuing and, and creating a lot more photographs for. Um, but I don't know, I don't really want to be known as anything, I just, I'm trying to just, um, pursue what I enjoy. Um, it's a Mamiya 7, it's a, um, medium format rangefinder, there's no screen on the back. I like it because it's quiet, it's got a quiet shutter, because it doesn't have a mirror in it. Mm. And the rangefinder allows you to see right through, um, with no interruption when you take a photo. Graduation present was a camera, <laughs> cool. uh, which is the 5D Mark III, and then I had to, you know, save up. I couldn't even use the camera because I only had the batteries. The lenses from the 60D like wouldn't fit because the filter, uh, the sensor is too big. So I literally had to wait for months while I saved up money to buy, you know, the first lens, the like, cards to use, them because they're slightly more expensive, the filters, etc. People have asked me why I'm not going to filmmaking. Um, I think the reason why is because eventually my my goal is to like open up my own company. I've always, from when I was a little kid, I was like, I want to be the owner of a company. 
And I want the company to like encompass my passion, right? Which is photography, filmmaking, music, like arts, basically. I want to create a space for artists to come and to create like digital content because I feel like when people tell their stories, it's it's something that's really amazing. I feel like I should almost like shoot a little video of me now and be like, Chris, if you're watching this in like five years from now and you're still working in finance, like get the hell out of here while you still can. Because I know that like it, I need to like keep going for that goal. The greatest challenge so far for me has been like trying to tell a story. Um, I have yet to succeed. I would like to soon. Yeah, I'm going to launch one, I think, this upcoming week. It would basically be a collection of five short films, each like one, two, three minutes max, about people and something that's unique about them. And so I want this project to be basically me telling somebody else's story, or we tell it together. SirOnskiWrite.com, about the gram. Uh, Sir Onski, with like little underscores. Uh, ChrisDiangeloProductions.com. My Instagram handle is the ChrisDiangelo. <laughs> I don't use Twitter, but um, on Facebook, yeah, people can find me by just typing in my name.